हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स डीजे गणित इन दिस लेक्चर आल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस क्वेश्चन व्हिच वाज आस्ड इन जीटीयू समर 2021 एग्जाम सो हियर क्वेश्चन इज डिफाइन मोमेंट्स अबाउट द एज्यूम्ड मीन ए ऑब्टेन फर्स्ट फोर मोमेंट्स अबाउट आर्बिटरी ओरिजिन फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग डेटा और फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग टेबल so here data is given in terms of classes we can see all these classes are exclusive and corresponding frequencies are given so this uh, classes represents scores and uh, players having scores between 50 to 60 are 8 similarly players having scores between 60 to 70 are 11 and so on so we have to obtain first four moments about arbitrary origin that means uh, we are asked to find out row moments arbitrary origin or arbitrary point a so we are familiar with the definition of moments about arbitrary point a we just recall rth moment about arbitrary point capital a is denoted by mu r dash and is defined as sigma f times x minus a raised to r divided by capital n where capital n is sum of all the frequencies here our distribution is grouped distribution so this x will be the mid value of each class and uh, this summation is dependent on the uh, this range of x so this summation depends on the uh, index depends on the values of x if there are five values then we say that there will be five terms in the summation and so on now we can simplify this formula by taking the change of variable here variable is x so if we change the variable from x to some new variable by this uh, transformation we assume that x minus this arbitrary point a which we will select divided by h where h is size of each class which is same so if we assume that x minus a divided by h equal to some new variable say u then x minus a will be equal to h times u so if we substitute this x minus a equal to h into u in this formula uh, we can see that this formula reduces to sigma f as it is x minus a is replaced by h times u power is r divided by n so this we can rewrite as sigma f h times u raised to r equal to h raised to r times u raised to r divided by n now this summation depends on the index of x and so on the values of u so this h raised to r can be taken outside summation so it is independent of the index of summation so we have h raised to r sigma f times u raised to r divided by capital n so if we use that substitution u equal to x minus a divided by h then rth moment about arbitrary point a is given by mu r dash equal to h raised to r divided by n sigma f times u raised to r so what is the benefit of this uh, taking this type of substitution and using this shortcut formula so that we will see in this uh, question as we proceed but calculations will be very much short or smaller as compared to this uh, original formula so i am doing this uh, problem using this shortcut formula i will consider u equal to x minus a over h and i will find out moments about point a using this formula h raised to r divided by n sigma f times u raised to r so first we have written the definition which was asked in this question 
define moments about the assumed mean L. So that definition is as I discussed mu r dash as moment about assumed mean A or rth moment about arbitrary point A is denoted by mu r dash and is given by sigma x minus a raised to r divided by n if we have ungrouped data and if we have group data then this quantity is multiplied by corresponding frequencies so this is the formula for group data this is for ungrouped data r takes the values 1 2 3 and so on and capital n is nothing but sum of all the frequencies for group data for ungrouped data capital n is total number of observations so as I discussed, we change the variable x to a new variable u by this substitution u equal to x minus a over h and this will be the formula in terms of new variable mu r dash equal to h raised to r divided by n sigma f times u raised to r. So before selecting value of capital A, we first find out mid value of each class. So here we have prepared this table. In the first column we have written scores which are given in classes then players that is frequencies and here we obtain midpoint of each class. So first midpoint 55 is obtained by taking average of lower limit and upper limit. So we consider 50 plus 60 divided by 2 that is 110 divided by 2 which is 55 similarly this 65 is obtained by taking average of 60 and 70 and so on so we obtain midpoint for each class by taking average of lower limit and upper limit now for selecting value of assumed mean we observe that this 75 is in the middle part of this data so we consider arbitrary point A or assumed mean A equal to 75 and size of each class is 10 if we take upper limit minus lower limit for each class we will have 10 so H is 10 and we consider A equal to 75 so our substitution will be U equal to X minus 75 divided by 10 that we will use here now once we decide what is u we have to find out all these quantities f times u raised to r and we are asked to find out first four moments so we will find out these quantities for r equal to 1 2 3 and 4 f times u raised to r is to be obtained for r equal to 1 2 3 and 4 so here we have obtained values of u, u equal to x minus 75 divided by 10. So if we take x equal to 55, we have 55 minus 75 that is minus 20 divided by 10 which is minus 2. Then 65 minus 75 which is minus 10 divided by 10 is minus 1. 75 minus 75 is 0. 85 minus 75 that is 10 divided by 10 which is 1 and if we take x equal to 95 we have 95 minus 75 equal to 20 divided by 10 and we obtain 2 so we can see these calculations are very small in number okay, so that we don't have to use calculator for preparing remaining columns also we can directly prepare remaining columns easily so next column is required is f times this values of u so we multiply this to f and u 8 into minus 2 which is minus 16 11 into minus 1 minus 11 18 into 0 0 9 into 1 that is 9 4 into 2 which is 8 so these are the products f times u then we have to take square of all these values values u square of minus 2 is 4 minus 1 square is 1 square of 0 is 0 square of 1 is 1 and square of 2 is 4 then we multiply this uh, u square with f 
so we multiply these values 8 into 4 32 then 11 into 1 11 0 into 18 0 9 into 1 that is 9 4 into 4 that is 16 then we find out third power of u so that we can obtain by simply taking cube of this u or we can multiply these two u square and u cube of minus 2 is minus 8 then cube of minus 1 minus 1 0 here we have 1 so 1 raised to 3 is 1 2 raised to 3 is 8 then we find out f times u cube so again we multiply this 8 with minus 8 we have minus 64 11 times minus 1 which is minus 11 18 times 0 18 times 0 that is 0 9 into 1 9 4 into 8 32 then u raised to 4 is required that we can obtain by squaring u square so 4 square 16 then 1 0 square 0 1 square 1 4 square 16 and finally we multiply this u raised to 4 by corresponding frequencies so 8 times 16 128 11 times 1 11 18 times 0 that is 0 9 times 1 which is 9 and 4 times 16 that is 64 so calculations becomes easy if we take this type of change of variable so in the last row we have written total of all these columns this is for sigma f so capital n equal to 50 sigma f times u is minus 10 sigma f times u square is 68 this sum is sigma f times u cube and this is sigma f times u raised to 4 so now we use this formula for r equal to 1 2 3 and 4 for r equal to 1 we will have mu 1 dash equal to h divided by n sigma f into u so mu 1 dash is h by n sigma f into u h is 10 n is 50 sigma f into u is minus 10 so using all these values we obtain that first moment about assumed mean a equal to 75 is minus 2 then mu 2 dash is square of h divided by n sigma f into u square h is 10 n is 5 0 this sigma f into u square is 68 and we obtain that mu 2 dash is 136 similarly mu 3 dash and mu 4 dash are obtained mu 3 dash is h raised to 3 by n sigma f times u raised to 3 f times u raised to 3 is minus 34 so mu 3 dash is minus 680 and using the formula for mu 4 dash and uh, writing this value sigma f into u raised to 4 is 212 and uh, doing all these calculations we obtain that mu 4 dash is 42400 so in this way we have obtained the first four moments about assumed mean a equal to 75 or we can say that first four moments about arbitrary origin are mu 1 dash is minus 2 mu 2 dash is 136 mu 3 dash is minus 680 and mu 4 dash is 42400 so in this way we can obtain moments for grouped or continuous frequency distribution we have to remember the formula for row moment or rth moment about arbitrary origin or arbitrary point or arbitrary uh, or, or, or assumed mean so that formula is sigma f times x minus a raised to r divided by n and if we use this substitution if we change the variable by this uh, formula or transformation u equal to x minus a over h then this will be equivalent to h raised to r divided by n sigma f times u raised to r so we have used this formula shortcut formula 
to obtain the first four moments about arbitrary origin in this case. Okay, if you wish, you can do the same problem using this formula also, and you can compare that calculations will be easy if we use this formula as compared to this original formula. So this is all about this session. I hope you like it. Thank you very much.